you are really going to enjoy my next author. It's a children's book about crossing the street, but there is a bigger meaning to this. I want to welcome my author, Kat Karamitros. Yes, that's correct. Good. I'm glad I got that. Um, Kat, welcome. Tell us about your book. What's the general uh, message of your book about? Sure. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited. And uh, so When Crossing the Street is a family story. I actually originally wrote this poem when I was 12 years old. I had an uncle of mine who was really pivotal in helping raise me. And when I was young, we used to cross the street, go to the park. And he would say, you know, what are we going to look for? And I would, you know, being young, I would say, well, cars. And he's, no, 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 that's boring. And, you know, so 20 minutes would go by and suddenly we had everything from aliens to hot air balloons to, you know, any creature or vehicle, you name it. And we were going to look for it crossing the street. And so that was a really fond memory of mine. And when I got a little older and had kind of outgrown the game, it had stuck with me so much that I decided to give him a gift. I believe it was Christmas that year. So this book actually started on construction paper with crayons and colored pencils in about 2005, 2009. I wrote the poem. I put two lines of the poem on each page, illustrated those two lines and gave it to him. And, um, you know, it just kind of sat in our family for a little bit. And then recently a friend of mine um, had a child of his own and we were discussing children's books and the idea sort of came to mind that maybe I should bring this one I had written years ago to life. And now we have one crossing the street. What an amazing backstory. Um, it, you've got a copy of the book there. I would love mm -hmm. to see maybe a favorite page of yours just sure, so absolutely. we can see what the illustration looks like. So this is the cover here, and these illustrations are, are really great. I had such a good time working with my illustrator. This page here is my favorite. As oh. you can see, we've just got a myriad of, of images to look at, things to look for when crossing the street. It can be anything you can imagine. So this page is full of fun, and, and each page kind of has a theme and, and things to look for, which makes it a great search and find book for even kids that can't read yet. The colors are just brilliant, and, um, and how much fun, how memorable. Uh, I was a real stickler when it came to my kids cr crossing the street. And actually, mine had a little bit of an opposite effect. I made them look five times. And today we still laugh. They're 30, 32 because they go, you know, mom, we'd always go like that. I'm like, yeah, you completely missed the point. So your uncle really brought it home and look at the impact. Um, it's just a beautiful story. L let's talk about... Um, what does the book mean to you personally as far as passing it down and making sure the message about crossing the street safely is conveyed? Definitely. So, I mean, obviously there's, you know, just sort of that strict message in itself of crossing the street, but we always try to make things fun. And that was a way that I thought, you know, I could share it with lots of people, as you mentioned, you know, being able to share it with your kids. <clears throat> I don't have children of my own. So kind of the fun thing for me has been making this story and watching parents send me the photos of their kids reading the book and getting ready to cross the street and how much the kids are invigorated and excited having read the story and then to cross the street, it makes them feel grown up. And so it's just been a really fun time for me to watch all of that happen. And, you know, sort of something I never expected. I just sort of, you know, thought I'd publish a book. Special calls, right? Yes, that's right. So unfortunately in 2010, my family suffered a tragedy. My, my brother fatally died of an asthma attack oh. and he was taken care of in the ICU in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And there was a house there. It's called the Hospital Hospitality House. It's very familiar or similar to the Ronald McDonald House, which a lot mm. of people are familiar with, but they are, you know, just their own organization and they're hundred percent donations based. And so they really helped out our family during that time. They gave us a place to stay. Their staff was incredible. They funded our meals. They were there just to be an ear during that time. And I feel like they're an organization that doesn't get nearly as much visibility as they should. And so I was hoping, you know, to also use this book to bring light to such a great organization that is doing mm. so many good things for people and, and has impacted my family so much. And being that this is a family book and a family story, I figured it was a great way to tie everything together and, and help them out. I'm going to guess there's a few copies sitting around that uh the home for the kids who go visit already, isn't there? <laughs> There's definitely going to be a bulk shipment sent that way. As soon as oh. you know, the royalties start coming in for my second quarter, I'm, I'm definitely going to be sending things those, their way and, and giving them some personal copies. So. You, you have an incredible maturity and strong character. Um, you have so much to offer. I mean, I have to think that you are really inspiring other young people to get cracking on ideas about writing books. Is that important to you? It is absolutely, you know, something that really inspired me to really do this at all in the first place was, you know, we all kind of have these bucket list items and a lot of us never really do any of them. And so one day I just asked myself, I've always wanted to be a published author. What's stopping me from actually achieving that? And when I realized the answer was absolutely nothing, 
I, you know, stuck my toe in the water. And then next thing I knew I was head, head under the water, diving in deep to the process, learning a lot. Um, but that's another message I'd love to spread with this, especially to young authors, you know, just because it might be intimidating or you don't know where to start doesn't mean you can't do it. And it doesn't have to be your whole life. I have a career outside of being an author. And so if it's just something fun that people want to pursue, I just want them to understand that they can. And as long as you just take that first step, the whole journey lays ahead of you and it's something you can do. Writing a book. I mean, it's so much more than just putting the story into words. What did you learn? What is the biggest takeaway that you um, learned in producing with the illustrations and having to work with other people and finances? And what is the biggest takeaway in writing the book? That's a great question. I mean, there was so much to learn. And I think a lot of it was just learning how big the world of of publishing is and Mm -hmm. and how much goes into it, especially with having commissioned illustrations that added an entire other element than if I was just publishing a manuscript. But it it was very interesting. And um, I know so much more than I do now. And I know that if I were to start another book and and send that down the line, I would be so much better prepared. Mm -hmm. But, you know, my publishing company was great at helping me out. They understood my timeline. They understood my goals. And so they were really able to kind of give me some training wheels as I was figuring it out. And, and now I feel like more than anything, my eyes have just been open to a whole other profession. And that's been really exciting to get to know so many different people and just so many different genres of writing and, and how marketing works and all of that. So. You know, it's interesting, Kat. I've heard people um, who are millionaires who have lost everything after the first time they achieved that first million. And they're like, that's okay. I know how to do it now. I'll just do it again. And that's kind of what like, what it is with a book, I suppose, the way that you're talking about. It's okay. Now I know so much more. Can you do it again? Do you have another story? Are you working on something? So I get that question a lot. And <laughs> so I, I do one day want to publish again. With my career the way it is right now, there's probably a little bit of a halt on that timeline, but it actually will probably be another family book. I had another uncle of mine. I've got a very boisterous Greek family, so we're, we're very interconnected. But he chronically lost his keys when I was young. And so he received another construction paper book of mine called A Book for Uncles Who Can't Keep Keys. So that may make an appearance in a, in a more child-friendly form here in the next couple of years. But I'll have to keep you all updated when that happens. I love the nuances of life that you that you observe and you just embrace and they don't just fly past you. They are, you see life in stories. That's, that's yeah. incredible. That's what well, a gift. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, do you have any final thoughts? Is there anything that you'd like to share before we, we wrap up here? Um, just that I do. I love to interact with my followers and anyone that does purchase my book. Like I mentioned, I don't have children of my own. So I kind of vicariously live through these photographs and videos that families have sent me. So um, anyone watching the interview can feel free to check me out on my Facebook page titled Cat Karamitros or Instagram as well. I'd love to see photos, love to share them with you know users permission and interact with any of my followers there. And uh, the information for the charity that I, I donate to will be posted on those pages as well. I love it. And the book is available where? It's on Amazon online, Barnes and Noble online, and as well as Writers Republic, which is the publishing company. And my personal website has links to those as well, linked on my Facebook page, Kat Karamitros. Kat, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure.